Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Abe with MysticGenMara.com, a small town mystic from the middle of Idaho. And today, tonight, whenever you happen to see this, I would like to offer the weekly intuitive reading for November 3rd through the 9th, 2024. And it's for each of the elements. Um, we won't go into it. I say this every week. There's a whole bunch of stuff linked in the description. You can check it out. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, leave those in the comments, drop a like on the video, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button um, and let me know how I'm doing. So with that, we'll hop into the first element, which is fire, and fire covers Leo, oops, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Make sure to do it in order. Your first rune for our fire family is the Perth rune, which is the fate. Color of black, tarot association is Wheel of Fortune. Astrology is Saturn. Chance, unexpected material gain, surprises, something hidden coming to light. Fire. They're saying that this could be something that's going on that you've been curious about, and this is the time when the answers were going to start coming in. With Wheel of Fortune, there's always ups and downs in life, and so it's a matter of where you're at on that circle is where things are coming up. The other thing is you're going to have some things revealed this week, which is great. But when you have Saturn coming in, what may be revealed could feel like a band-aid getting torn off, or it could be something that you wanted to know the answer to, but you kind of didn't. And so when it comes forward, you're like, oops, I shouldn't have known that. So be aware that as things come up this week, it could be very, very positive and very good. But there's also this little tint of seriousness because Saturn is not known for being joyful. Um, stern, yes. Joyful, no. Your second rune is Jira the Year, color of light blue. Tarot association is the Fool. Astrology is Earth. Cycles of nature and life, something coming to fulfillment, effort receiving rewards. So, the other part with the Jira rune is with the Fool, there's something that's starting off and you're missing pieces. But you have, with Perth, you have the pieces that will be revealed by the end of the week. The Earth energy is saying staying grounded. The Saturn energy is like, could be a little bit on the stern side. So understand fire this week. Yeah, you're going to get the answers to the questions. You're going to be able to step into that new project, that new idea, that new energy that you've been looking, working towards. Just be aware that there could be a little bit of a harsh reality check that comes along with that. It's not saying it's going to be a negative week. It's really saying that this is a a good week for self-reflection and maybe doing some inner work because when Saturn shows up it usually means there's something going on that you have not addressed and now it's going to be the time you're going to do that it's going to work out for your favor but no more hiding in the in the corner or in the closet from the spooky monster energy that once it's revealed by daylight usually it's just a mouse so <laughs> That's kind of the energy they're giving off for this first week, or for this first week, for uh, fire this week is everything's going to work out all right, but you might have to do a little housekeeping to get there. Um, our next energy is Earth, and it is Earth covers Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So Earth family, your first rune is the Degas rune, which is the day. Color of light blue. Tarot association is temperance. Astrology is dark moon. Awakening and clarity, successful success, prosperity, and abundance in life. This rune is interesting because it's calling for balance, working with the temperance energy. And with the dark moon, it's really saying things that are planted in secret will re be revealed publicly is what I'm hearing. So as you go through this month or this week, they're wanting you to make sure that you take each day one at a time. Don't try to plan on Monday what you're doing on Friday. That's not going to be beneficial. As you go through the week, you'll start to see a plan unfolding. You'll start to see things coming to light and revealing themselves. And that's where it leads to the abundance, prosperity, success in whatever endeavor you're looking towards. So it's definitely take things day by day. Find balance in what you do. Um, and things are going to be coming into the light that were hidden. So... Your second rune is the Kano rune, which is torch or fire. Color is light red. Tarot association is the chariot. Astrology is Venus. Uh, creative fire, awakening artistic impulses, passion, and sexual desires. 
sounds like Earth could be having some fun this week. Um, <laughs> but you have this energy with the chariot tying into temperance. Get your balance in check because things are about to start moving is what I'm hearing. So as you go through this week, really pay attention to the synchronicities. Pay attention to those gut instincts. Staying grounded, but understanding that Venus with her domination over water and intuition are really going to help influence how you process through this week. That's why it's so important to stay grounded as you start off Earth. You guys are naturally grounders, so it's not going to be that difficult. But the um, more emotional, intuitive sense could be a little bit of a shock is what I'm hearing. But you have the ability to work through this. Um, but yeah, like they're saying, at the end, by the end of the week, things are going to start picking up and the movement's going to start to accelerate. So. Be ready for the changes as you go through each day, but don't start planning too far ahead because day by day is how um, this week's going to play out best for you. So our air family covers Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And air, you start off with the Gibo rune, which is blessings and generosity or gifts. Color of deep blue. A tarot association is the lovers. Astrology is Pisces. So you're working with some familiar energy here. Uh, it's a sign of gifts, generosity, giving, people coming together, relationships deepening. Air. This week is going to be a really positive week, at least to start with, or at least part of it is, um, however you want to see that. And they're saying that this is a time for building and deepening relationships. This is a really good time for you to tap into relationships you already have, be they intimate or just friends or acquaintances. Be open to enjoyment. Be happy. Be Feel the reward of having those uh, relationships. And that's an interesting way to phrase it, but that's what they're saying is when you feel the reward, that person isn't in my life and I'm the one who benefits. And they can feel the same way towards you. It's not so much an ego thing. It's more of it's such a blessing to have that person in my life. And that's what I'm hearing for air this um, week is looking around and understanding that you have been blessed so much more than you could possibly imagine to start with and that's the nice thing is a reminder of you know what i actually am in a good spot everything is going pretty good for me um let's see if the second rune spoils that <laughs> no it's the soilo rune which is the sun color is white and silver terror association is obviously the sun astrology is also the sun uh, a rune of good health and happiness wholeness clarity enlightenment and success air these runes are pointing directly to the yellow brightness of your energy. This is saying this week is going to be a very positive week, a very growth focused week, but they're saying tap into that gratitude. They're really wanting to emphasize that, that this gratitude that you feel towards the people around you, towards the things, even the job when it even, you know, the days of the job just drives you nuts. Feeling gratitude for the fact that you have the job for the apartment, the house, for the spouse, whatever it is, allows you to really tap into that joy. The sun is coming in to say abundance is there. There's prosperity. Shining the light on the important things allows the shadows to fade away. And that is going to play out so beautifully and so importantly for you in this week. Let the shadows, let the darkness be completely wiped away in the light of the gleaming sun and allow yourself to feel that joy, that peace, that happiness, and that gratitude for all the things that are going on in your life because that is going to play out so beautifully by the end of this week is what I'm hearing. So, air, do your thing. It's going to be a great week. Uh, let's check in on our water family. And water covers Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So water, you are starting off with the Eowaz rune, which is the horse. Color is white. Terror association is the lovers. So a little bit of water energy here. Astrology is Gemini, so water and air. Um, travel, change, new jobs, new homes, spiritual journeys, and movement. I'm hearing right now, water, that if you're the water and your partner's air, or however those two work out, but they're saying that water and air are going to work very, very well together this week. It's going to be this uh, beautiful union of connection, of intuition and mental. Um, so if you are in a relationship with an air sign, pay attention to how things go. This week could, looks like it's going to be pretty impressive. They're also saying the changes that are going on are could be pretty... Um, intense could be a little bit 
um, almost they're all, they're using the word um, oppressive, and I, that's, that's not in a bad way. It's just like there's going to be a lot of change occurring, and you're kind of like, uh, how do I deal with all of this? But they're saying it's going to work out in the best way. That's where that lover's card or energy comes in. With the lovers, with Gemini, you're working with air energy, so it could be a very intimate relationship you have with an air that is going to help ground and anchor you as you move forward this week. Um, the second rune we have, turn the page, is the... There's two different... E, there's e, e a was and e was. This is the other one. <laughs> It's the yew tree. Color is dark blue. Tarot association is the hanged man. Astrology is Scorpio. So we are tying into that water energy, but this water energy is more like water slash fire. Scorpio is an interesting one. Um, it's protection signifies a time of death and rebirth. Unfor use foresight and perseverance. Water this week is definitely going to be on the upswing for you. They're saying that you need to look at things from a different perspective. The hanged man is looking at a situation from an outside uh, ob observation so really examine what's going on this week pay attention to the details it's really wanting you to tap into that water air connection and work with that energy with scorpio there's a hint of a fire so there's some passion that goes on there could also be some um, things that need to be taken down or dismantled allowing for some readjustments but that's going to allow further growth so even though it might feel a little heavy at times this week overall the heaviness is just because you're trying to overthink and overanalyze the situation and what i'm hearing is just put that on the just let, let that go it's not worth over analyzing it look at it from the face value and go from there is what i'm hearing for our water family so um up on whichever channel you're watching this on i also have all of november's readings are available now for each of the elements they go through the I Ching and then each of the four weeks so you can check those out um as far as overall theme for the week or energy that I'm hearing, this is going to be a very quick moving week for everybody involved. This is a time of a little bit of change. The seasons are actually getting into a shift right now. So be ready to deal with things as they come. And I'm hearing really distinctly for everybody, this is not just for um, the air, I think it was air, or earth, live day by day. Don't start planning too far ahead. It's just not worth it especially this week things are going to be kind of in flux and in fluid motion allow yourself to go with the flow enjoy the journey um, show gratitude where it is necessary and even when it's not necessary find a reason to be thankful for what's going on um, with that i will let you guys go have a great rest of your week and i will see you in the next video